So I needed to provide you guys with some actual numbers on how strong pyrolutamide is. And the thing is, pyrolutamide has an IC50 number of 0.28 nanomolar. What is up guys and welcome back. So today we are going to talk about a new player in the field of treating male pattern baldness or hair loss or whatever you will call it. That is namely the drug by Kinter called pyrilutamide also known as KX826. So in this video we are going to take a look at first off what pyrilutamide actually is. We are going to take a look at the study made from Kintar that is done with their phase 2 trials for the FDA approval. We are also going to talk about how pyrolutamide actually works and how strong pyrolutamide also is. We are going to talk about dosages and lastly of course we are going to talk about where you guys actually can get pyrolutamide with a lab test that actually proves that what you buy is inside the package and of course as usual, I have gotten a discount code for you guys who are going to go and try out this stuff if you want to. Otherwise, just enjoy the video. So first off, let's talk about what pyrolutamide actually is. Well, pyrolutamide is what's called a non-steroidal silent androgen antagonist. This drug is developed by Social, I think it is called, Kenta, and that is another part of Kenta Pharmaceuticals. More or less what you need to know is this drug is developed by Kenta Pharmaceuticals and Soso is just another department from that place. If you don't know what all that stuff about non-steroidal anti-antagonist whatever yada yada actually was, I will explain this later in the video so just stick around if you didn't get that I will explain it for you guys. So Kenta is the pharmaceutical company who is responsible for developing this pyrolutamide drug that has been past their phase 2 FDA approval stage at this point. I have looked at the study and I've picked out the most important information and most interesting facts that you want to know about pyrolutamide and we're going to talk about them now in a few moments. So the first thing you want to know is that the trials were compromised by 120 men all within the range of Norwood 3, 2 and including number 5 in the Norwood scale and the study lasted for 28 weeks. Secondly, they included a placebo group. They had a group that got 2.5 milligrams once a day. They also have a group that got 5 milligrams twice a day. And lastly, they had a group that got 5 milligrams once a day also. So to sum up, 2.5 milligrams once a day, 5 milligrams once a day, and 5 milligrams over two dosages day, twice daily. So the way they measured this test out was that they had something called a TACH, that is target area hair count. And this is a place where they apply the product. Then they will start from day one and measure how many hairs there are. And in the end of the whole test, they will measure how many hairs there are now. So in this study, they did the test on a one by one centimeter square. So after 14 days, they did a blood sample from all the participants. And the most interesting fact here is that the blood concentration of pyrolutamide were between one, no, sorry, 0.3 nanograms per deciliter up to 4 nanograms per deciliter per person. The next thing is that the metabolites from pyrolutamide ranged from 4 nanograms per deciliter up to 10 nanograms per deciliter and that ain't a lot guys just to clarify that. Regarding safety profile the only adverse problem they actually had with this drug were that 14 percent of the participants contracted some sort of dermatitis or irritation of the skin where it were applied so this might be something that we have to look out for with this drug it is pretty strong my recommendation is that if you are using anagenic and you're already buying from these guys, well, they have something called a KB solution. This solution has emulsifiers in it that will help your skin to absorb it without being so irritated that fast. So the emulsifiers work by letting the skin 
uptake the drug faster and that way not be exposed to it for that long a period of time and by that reducing the inflammation. The last thing that is the most important thing to know about this study is the best results were shown by the group that had 5 milligrams applied over two doses daily and they showed a result above the average of an extra 15 hairs counted in the little square that I just described before. But the total is 22 new hairs in a period of that time were produced in that little square area of one by one centimeter on the skin. So how does pyrolutamide actually work? Well, pyrolutamide is, as I said, a silent high affinity non-steroidal androgen antagonist. But what does that actually mean? First off, the silent high affinity part is just fancy words just to describe how good it is because it is good, but we can just skip those parts. The next thing is that it's non-steroidal. Well, we aren't using steroids at this point. I hope you're not. If you are, consult your doctors. It ain't my problem. I really don't care. Do what you do. Now, the thing is, it's non-steroidal, so we can just skip the steroidal part. If it were steroidal, we had to talk about that part, but it's non-steroidal, so that ain't a problem. And now the androgen antagonist part. Well, to explain this, first we need to know what androgens are and how hair loss work. Imagine that the thing that makes you lose hair is a little lock with a keyhole in it. When you turn that lock, it will make you lose hair. So the lock is here, as we call it, a receptor. A receptor works when you turn the lock with a specific key and then it will activate. And the activation here will make you lose your hair on your scalp. Now, the key, on the other hand, is what's called androgens. So androgens go the key into the lock, which is the receptor. When you turn that lock, you activate the receptor and well, in, in the end, you're going to lose hair by this way. So what is an antagonist actually? Well, have you ever tried to open a door and you use the wrong key, but it actually fit the lock and it got stuck in the lock, but it couldn't turn? That is the exact same thing that an antagonist does to your receptor. It's a wrong key that won't turn the receptor and it still fits and gets stuck in the lock. Now, if you replace the androgen key with the pyrolutamide key, it's going to get stuck in the keyhole and the androgens can't do their work on your receptor and you won't lose hair. This is more or less how the whole antagonist thing actually works and how pyrolutamide and basics are going to work by stopping your hair loss. Now we're going to talk about something that actually baffled me a lot and that is the strength of pyrolutamide. I finally have gathered all the information I needed to provide you guys with some actual numbers on how strong pyrolutamide is. And the thing is, pyrolutamide has an IC50 number of 0.28 nanomolars. Now, what is the IC50 actually? IC50 is what is described as the amount of a drug needed to block 50% of the target receptors. This means that it needs only 0.28 nanomolar of pyrolutamide to block the targeted receptors by 50%. To give you something to hold up against that, the IC50 level or number of IU58841 is 100. So if we were to just sum up pyrolutamide, let's give it a solid one so it's easier to calculate. Well, you still need 100 times as much IU58841 to reach the same saturation level as pyrolutamide will do. Not only that, but the affinity of pyrolutamide is about four times stronger than testosterone. That is more or less the same as DHT, which is the worst drug and worst androgens we have in our body naturally. Also, it is about three times stronger in affinity than IU58841. Of course, this will definitely explain the crazy hair gain results these guys got on these drugs. This leads us then to the dosages. Personally, I don't recommend doing this. I can't recommend doing this. I'm not a doctor, but if it were me, and this is definitely going to be me because pyrolutamide is insane. I didn't know this before I started reading up on the stuff. I am going to use a five milligrams for each milliliter solution in a KB carrier from anangenic.com. 
this way because I suffer from dermatitis. I'm, I'm hoping by using the KB solution that I can avoid most of the problems associated with this drug because it didn't have any other adverse side effects. So at this point, if you're still stuck around, I assume that you also want to try using pyrolutamide yourself and see the results. Well, the best place that I can recommend to buy pyrolutamide is from anagenic.com. Anagenic is the only company that I know of that provides a third party lab test and show the result public. They also have very good quality of other antiandrogens if that were in the case that you wanted to check those things out. They will reship your package if it gets lost or anything like that. So you are secure that you will receive your stuff. And also they give a 10% discount if you pay with bitcoins. That is something that I use personally myself a lot. And also on top of that, if you use this code that they gave me, you can get another 10% off your order from anagenic.com. Now guys, that's 20% off in total you can get by using Bitcoins and my code up there. Safe shipping, lab test, everything else. Lastly guys, I know that I have been promising to do a lot of stuff and I'm having a lot of trouble keeping up with all the requests. I'm really sorry for those of you guys who feel let down by me not posting enough videos. I'm really trying to keep up with you and I hope that you guys can forgive me for not fulfilling all the promises that I give. I'm trying to be a nice dude and sometimes I write checks that my ass can count for. So I'm sorry guys. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Until then, cheers.